Okay, so right now I'm just doing a basic uh, temperature test. There's no water in this unit. Um, I'm just testing the temperature of the air on the inside. Um, I've, I'm not going to be able to use this tank. I got it all completely stripped down uh, and then and painted. And then I pressurized it and found a really bad leak along the seam where it's welded. So uh, I've come across another unit I'm going to try to use. But I'm using this one for a test right now. As you can see, I got, I've even got some CDs laid out for reflection. I've got my kid's little princess mirror under here. And I've got another mirror shining on the, on the other side here. I've got all the, any holes or whatever plugged up to uh, keep the circulation down. Uh, and you can see right here, I've got 110 degrees, 0.7 on the inside of the tank, 85.8 on the outside so I'm, I'm averaging about 25 degrees above ambient temperature uh, and you'll see the uh, the box that I'm gonna build I'll uh, show a little illustration of it uh, that's gonna keep because uh, I mean you can see just just sitting here I set this thing down about 20 minutes ago and uh, put my temperature gauge on the inside here and in 20 minutes I've gotten that kind of reading off of this thing and that's with the wind blowing across this thing and pulling some of that heat away from there. I'm going to build a nice little box, uh, heavily insulated uh, with, a, with a glass top. Actually, I've got some fiberglass that I'm hoping I'll be able to clean up and get it real clear. Uh, you know, I'll use this for the lid. There's the kiddos. I'll use that for the lid. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you some more uh, on that design here in a little bit. But uh, this is the basic test right now. And as I say, I'm, I'm getting, you know, right, we're up to uh, 111 and uh, 85.6, so um, it just kind of keeps going. So so this is looking real promising. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this project finished and, and seeing uh, what kind of water temperature I can get off of this. All right, here's a, a new tank that I've gotten a hold of uh, that was actually come out of my house. Uh, when I started investigating this project, I... I looked into my water heater closet to kind of see what I was dealing with and found a small puddle at the bottom so I had to replace that heater altogether. So I pulled this one out of the house. Now, I learned my lesson with the first one. That first one I completely stripped it and painted it and everything. Uh, I even uh, I even got a pipe tap. Let me show you that real quick. All right. I even got a pipe tap so that I could re-tap the threads. Uh, that were all rusted out and shot. You know, I got it nice and cleaned up, looking good. Pressurized it, and you know, I get a blowout along one of these seams here. Well, now this one, I've found the leak. It is very, very small. So I'm hoping that some JB Weld is going to clean that up. Uh, so I've, I've found my leak before I've gotten too far on this. Uh, you know, I've decided it's not too bad. I'm going to try to go ahead with this project. Um, Painting the butt is going to be getting this uh, insulation off the uh, outside of it. Uh, the other tank had the insulation totally wrapped in plastic, and this stuff had two-thirds of it was shot in, so it's adhered to the tank. Um, I also got, let me show you this real quick, too. Where's my drill? Here we go. Okay, I got one of these wire brush heads to knock the rust off and get this tank cleaned up. So I've got it pressurized. I found my leak. I'm going to try some JB Weld, and hopefully that's going to stop that leak. Uh, I'm going to knock all that rust off and uh, use a high heat flat black rust-oleum uh, and we will take a look at that again later but uh, like I say here's 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 the tank that I'm hoping to be able to use all right so I wanted to kind of give you an idea of the uh, shape or design of the box I'm going to be using I'm going to be building up this box uh, it's going to be approximately six feet long it'll be about three feet deep uh, this front panel will be about two feet and the back panel will be about three feet, okay? So the front of the box here you can see is going to have a slope to it uh, because the direction of my sunlight here will come in and should hit right at the bottom of this tank throughout the entire day. I'm fortunate enough to have sun almost the entire day is going to be passing across the corner of the house where I'm going to be setting this tank up at. I'll put it up on some feet. Uh, I'm going to have some bracers running along here, some 2 by 4 bracers. And I haven't decided uh, whether I'm going to build like maybe some plywood cradles to set the tank down on top of or maybe just uh, take a couple of 2x4s and, and create sort of like a V cradle and set the tank down inside here and, and you can see the plumbing will shoot out the side here. 
and then what will happen where I'm setting this thing is on the corner of my house I'll set the plumbing down and, and shoot it straight into the ground from the box come in underground and then come right on up here and then this is where I've got my hot water heater room and I'm going to use a, a, a downspout I found uh, uh, these things for like I don't know I can do about ten dollars uh, do like a drainage gutter downspout uh, a vinyl just like the siding to keep it nice and clean I'll have these uh, this plumbing that runs up inside here uh, will be insulated uh, with this pipe insulation and both of the pipes insulated will fit perfectly inside one of those tubes so that's going to work out real good um, here's a new heater I had to put in and here's the manifold setup that I've got um, kind of show you what's happening here uh, we, we come down here <clears throat> it's always good to have shutoff valves so here's my, my master shutoff if I ever have a problem with anything in my system I can shut this off and uh, I'll still have water in the rest of the house and I can work on my heater stuff so what happens is we come up here cold cold line runs up I got some cold arrows because that's you know that's fun I'm using ball valves here I like those because uh, you can tell whether they're on or off depending on their direction um, if they are across your tube then they're like basically you can look at it like it's a wall so it's stopped up if it's lined up with the tube it's open so what's happening here is we're running in cold nothing's happening here we're going straight in coming in cold into the tank leaving the tank hot coming right across here and we are going hot and feeding the house with hot water and what I've done here is I've given myself the option to I can either supplement my hot water heater with solar heated water okay so um, we'll, how that will do that is what we do is we'll shut this off so we'll wall up here and we'll open this we'll come up here and this goes right on outside it feeds the uh, let me see if I can come so it leaves the house okay it leaves it leaves the house cold it gets heated out there by the sun and it comes back in and then what I'll do is I'll open this one here and it'll come across and I will feed the cold side with already solar heated hot water uh, and that'll uh, at the very least keep this from kicking on quite as often okay and then it leaves you know hot again and we got hot water for the house now if I want to I can cut this heater out of the cycle completely by closing this and opening this one okay then my, it'll come in hot and uh, come on up here and then I'll have this closed so that I don't have any back feeding in the tank and come on hot and feed the house with hot water so I can you know with this little manifold setup that I've got here I can do uh, like I say I can supplement this electric heater with solar heat uh, I can do as I'm doing right now and completely cut out the outside so if it's a really super cold and cloudy winter day I can shut off enough valves to where I cut that thing out of the loop completely and just run on electric and if we are in the dead of summer well then I can shut this thing out of the loop completely and feed my house with solar uh, water strictly so so there we go that's how we're set up and uh, we will uh, get a finished project update when uh, everything's done <laughs>